Lewis, you've been through some tough times. How about being on the other side of this? What a great ball game for you today. How exciting. Uh, it's a very exciting. We can get this win, uh, get back to Miami, uh, safe and sound, um, you know, happy flight. Uh, but it feels good, man. Uh, like you said, I have, have had some rough times, but, you know, God's taking me down a path right now that, uh, you know, I've been patiently waiting for. So uh, it feels good, man. It feels how, good. How about a couple of these home runs in the series? Almost impossible to hit the yellow line at that ballpark. You did it. And then you got to bounce <laughs> off the fence today. What about those two? And get a break for a change. And he's too fast, too. You can't get him these days. He'll put that mic back on for us. You can't get him. He's just, this, everything is going Lewis's way these days. No, 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 no. I'm sorry not about that. I had you. to be an uh, athlete for a second. They're not going to get no. you. That's how things are going for you. You hit the yellow line. You hit the bell. <laughs> they got you there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch of uh, technical. Go ahead, go ahead, though. Right. Go ahead. Tell me about those crazy homers we were talking about, though. You hit the yellow line the other night, uh, almost impossible, and the one <laughs> off the fence today. Oh, my God. Poor guy's just trying to do an interview here. Boy, they are, they are going after you today, Lewis. Now let's them clean off again. All right, uh, what did you say? All right, here we go. Fifth time asking oh. this one. <laughs> Your right. homers in the series, right. Lewis. About Whatever the you have to say. Down Go the line. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Felt good. Felt good. Uh, especially uh, the one the first night when I found out it was fair. That felt good. Um, the two today felt even better. Uh, like I said, to uh, get on uh, a happy flight and get us a nice early lead uh, with our workhorse uh, and Sandy on the mound. I uh, knew we had a good chance to win today's ball game. Yeah, and you hit the fence today and got the break. How about your confidence right now? All time high? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty high right now. Um, I'm believing in myself, man. Like I said, um, a lot of hard work, uh, you know, a lot of not not quitting, not giving up on myself. Um, you know, it's starting to pay off, and I'm going to keep it going. We'll see you back home. Good job. All right, thank you. Came in today, and, I mean, had everything working. Um, was, was the ace that you expect out there, man? I mean, that was ace stuff out there. He was dominant, stayed strong throughout the game. You know, can't say good, enough good things about the way he, he bounced back today and really kind of gave us a, a good shot in the arm, man. It was awesome. And we've talked about him basically all week now, but Lewis Brinson, two more home runs, three hits, reached space every time. Just, again, just seeing that continued success from him and just what he's bringing to the club over this last month now, really. Man, you, you know, you can't say enough about it. I mean, I mean, Lou, Lou is you're so happy for the person, the player, and, and what he's doing to help the team. I mean, so all those things combined is a big deal where Lou is right now, man. Really excited for him. He's able to repeat his swing. I mean, and you just see the confidence. I mean, and, and hitting is about confidence. I mean, the more you start to go out there every day, you see the work you put in, it starts to play out on the field. You see it working in the games. You just keep gaining that confidence. And, and it's great to see it. I mean, he's out there. He deserves what he's doing. He deserves all the credit for, for, for everything that he's doing out there. He's put the work in. It's nice to see it. You know, be successful on the field, man. Just happy for the have happy for the player, Christina. James, I'm just curious because it seems almost like with the state of Major League Baseball, if a guy doesn't produce, you know, they're highly touted, you know, early in their career, it's almost like people panic or this and that. Just what do you see, like you know, especially a guy like you know Lewis that has to have work, you know, has to get to this point and hasn't gotten that immediate success. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, you, it's a great point. Um, I've, I've been blessed to be in this in, in this industry long enough to know that you don't know when it's going to click. Um, you look at the player, you look at their work ethic, you look how they get after it. There's a lot of things you have to measure, um, how guys deal with failure, how they're able to be persistent and come back. I mean, I mean this game is a tough game, and you're judged very early for sample sizes of, of work and you know it, it happens to a lot of players and obviously it happened to Lou but you know it's a credit to him like I said that the player has, has has kind of battled through it all he's been resilient through it all he's never quit on himself he's never quit on his ability he believes in himself he keeps working um, and then all of a sudden you get success from that player and that's why I say the player deserves it all because they go through so it's such a tough battle 
to get there and, and to be successful in this league. And, and you have to keep going. You know, he's, he's in a great spot right now. But like I said, his confidence is building. He's going to continue to go because the league will try to make adjustments. And then you have to make adjustments again. It's a, it's a never-ending battle. But there's nothing like once you get to that hump that you know you can do it at this level. And you have the confidence to know you can succeed. And I think he's at that point. He believes in himself. He believes in his work ethic. And um, you never know what's going to click. But it's nice to see it click for this player right now for, for everything he's done and all the work he's put in. Craig Benavini. Thank you, uh, James. Talking about the, you mentioned Lewis, but it's nice when things are going your way. It seems like you get a break where in the past you don't get a break. I mean, it hit the line on the on the bullet the other, the other night and then today he gets a bounce off the crack of the wall that you know 99 times comes back the other way a absolutely you know you you need some of that you know Craig you need the ball uh, to bounce your way sometimes and it's, it's nice when you're going good it seems like it bounces your way all the time and when you're not it seems like it never bounces your way you know you miss but that's that's the game we play um, that's the game. That's I always tell the players. I mean, this is the life they chose. Like, you know, so sometimes <laughs> it goes your way. Sometimes it doesn't. I guess you have to get used to that. But, you know, persistence is the key, right? Like to stay, stay at it, stay, stay persistent. Don't let the small failures along the way. Don't turn them into big failures. You know, you have to turn the page really quickly. Um, this is a tough game. And that's why it's so important to have a positive environment and stay positive and, and, and keep pushing because it's a game of negativity. And if you allow the negativity to, to kind of creep in there, it, you know, it's, it tends to stay, but if you can stay positive and just keep punching and keep fighting and keep getting to that next day, you know, you know, you're going to be better on the other end. And that goes for, you know, for Lou and, and for every player for that matter. Well, we've talked to you after these games and you've been able to do that. It's not easy during a losing streak. You want to see your team win, lead your team to win before Donnie takes over again. So how sweet was this one for you today? Um, maybe your last game for now, at least, as uh, we'll see what happens with Donnie's health. But uh, nice to get a win in here today. Absolutely. Happy flight day. So so really <laughs> nice to get a win um, and, and get back to, to Miami. But, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm really proud of these players. And I can't tell you enough. And I mean, I was excited to get the win. But the fact that they just played hard every single day, um, every single inning, and kept it going. You know, they played hard. They pitched hard. They were they were trying to win every game. We obviously, you know, there weren't a lot of wins, but there was never any laying down. There was a lot of guys battling, grinding, grinding through everything. And it's nice to get a win on the last day. They never quit. So it's pretty cool to be a part of this. Daniel Alvarez. Thank you, Jason. Jero, uh, two two parts. First, first with Sandy and the uh, importance of of the short memory because because of what, was, what happened in, in Colorado and, and the tough start that, that he had. And we've seen him bouncing back from starts like that one uh, a couple times this year. So how important is that aspect of the game, uh, you know, combined with the, with the mental part, knowing uh, what you got to do to, to come back and, and be strong mentally? Yeah, it tells you it tells you a lot about the player. Um, you know, it tells you a lot about him when, when you have a rough outing like that. The next one's a big one. You know, the next one is, can you bounce back? You know, are you going to be mentally tough? To, to come right back and, and get after it and not let that phase you. Obviously, he's shown us that he has the ability to do that. I mean, he showed that in a big way today. I mean, he went out there and and you felt like right from the start, you know, and talking to Mel, it just felt like from the beginning that, that he was going out there to dominate today. He was in a space where he wanted to come back and show, hey, this is a big day for me. I think he knew it and he was focused and he, and he was committed to it. So it, And then he went out there and did it. You know, Mel felt real good about him coming into this game and he went out there and showed exactly what we talked about. So yeah, he deserves all the credit in the world. Not easy to do, but um, it tells you about the player and it tells you about the, um, the mindset that this player has to, to succeed out there. Jordan, you have another one? Yeah. Hey, Jero, Brian Dela Cruz, two hits. He gets his first home run again. Now that he's been here a while and he's getting comfortable. Are you seeing a lot more from the approach from him at the plate? Um, you know, it's it's to be honest, I, I like what he does, right? I like I like the things he the, the the tools he brings to the table, the way he plays the game. I want to watch him play a lot more. You know, I want to I'm enjoying watching him, but I want to continue to watch him and, and see what he continues to do over time. So what I can tell you is I like what I see early on. I, I like the tools. I like the way he's aggressive up there. He wants to attack. He wants to attack the ball. I want to see a lot more of a bats from him to, to be able to kind of make a an official call on it, but you, you love where the player is. I like the, I like the energy. I like the way the player gets after it. Um, but I think it's unfair to the player, you know, to, to make a quick call on, on where you think he can be. But I, but I do love what I'm seeing so far, Jordan. 
specifically when you watch these at bats, what are you looking for? Um, you know what? You're looking for, uh, number one, the aggressive, the aggressiveness in the player. I love to see players that look like they're going up there to do damage. They want to attack the strike zone. He wants to attack the zone. And, and sometimes when you do that, you're going to swing at some pitches that may not be in the zone. But it's a lot easier to get a guy to go uh, to rev down than to rev him up. And, and this guy looks like he wants to attack the baseball and do damage. So I love that about what he does. I like his hands. His hands are really good. He's got a great set of hands. I mean, he can, and, and we saw that today. I mean, he's got good wrist where he can kind of flick his hands out there and drive the ball with and do some damage with the barrel. So the tools are there. Um, I love what he's doing. I just want to see him do it a little bit more um, and get a feel for his consistency over time. But love the tools and love love the, love the, the way he comes to play every day and love the aggression. Uh, last one, Christina, real quick. We got Sandy here. Hey, Jero, I just want to check on uh, Maggie as he came out of the game. Is he okay, or is that just because of the score? Yeah, you know, you, Miggy's such a warrior. You try to give him a breather anytime you can, so he's doing fine. I just wanted to get him those last couple of innings there just to get him off his feet and, and kind of, you know, get him going. But there was nothing um, There's nothing injury-wise or nothing physically. It was just a matter of getting him out, you know, when you can get him a break. First of all, I want to say thank you, God, for keeping me hopeful in the game. I mean, I think everything was good today. Everything was working. My slider, forcing the opening, you know, my two-seam, my change You know, I think uh, everything was good today. <clears throat> Craig? Knock my, my audio out. Uh, Sandy, how, how uh, you mentioned, uh, how determine where you're coming off that particular start and uh, to, to right the ship uh, coming off uh, the one in Colorado? I mean, you know, like I said before, like I get rough in Colorado. You know, I just got to keep my heads up, you know, and keep doing my job. I mean, I think that helped me a lot, you know, thinking about that game, that day in Colorado, you know, and just came out today outside in the mouse, you know, and tried to, to do my best and, and compete. And you got some uh, some offense, which was nice to see. Did that help your your cause uh, in terms of, you know, you had a little room uh, if, you, if necessary against a very tough lineup, as you know, the San Diego team? Yeah, you know, I feel happy when – my defense called room for me, you know, because we got we got the the banish, you know. I mean, I think they 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 are really good hitter, you know, San Diego, San Diego Padres, and you know, I just got a bit outside with my press mentality, you know, and aggressive towards try and don't let them get chance. <clears throat> the, the the feeling of that first ever major league home run. Did you dream about this? Was it like you expected? What was it like? Tengo que preguntarte cómo se siente esa sensación de Conectar el primer home run en desliga, eh, eh, ¿fue como lo, lo soñaste? ¿Ha, ¿Ha sido como lo imaginaste? Sí, eso fue un sueño hecho realidad hoy en día. Que hoy, hoy es uno de los mejores días que yo he vivido en mi, en, en mi carrera, de verdad que sí. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's like uh, it's a dream come true. It, it's, it's without a doubt the best day of my career so far. Jordan. Hey, hey Brian, oh, were you able to get the ball back? And if so, where do you think you're going to put it? Eh, si pudiste recibir la pelota de regreso y, y, y dónde la vas a poner bueno como la, la voy a recibir allá en casa me dijeron que la va a recibir en casa y la voy a poner sabe otro cuadro otro cuadro más para que los niños vean eso well I, uh, uh, I was told I was gonna get the ball once we get uh, back home and uh, well I'm just gonna put it in one of those cubes and, and show it to all the kids <laughs> And just overall for you, what have these last two weeks been like for you personally? And where have you seen yourself start to adjust now that you have some steady playing time in the big leagues? Oh, me siento bien, me siento, me veo, creo que soy un grande liga más, me entiende, y, y ha hecho la cosa como se debe, me entiende, y... Y nada, trabajar lo que tengo mal y, y tirar para adelante. Eso es lo único que puedo hacer ahora mismo. Well, I feel very well on this level. I think I'm being able to, to perform uh, on the major league level. Uh, and what I have to do is just keep working on little little things uh, uh, that I know I have to and just keep going forward.